Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I go by Sparky Steve. I'm a journeyman electrician in Canada with a passion for sharing what I learned in the field. So today's video is all about tandem breakers. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about some of the precautions that you need to be taking when using these, because yes, they are very convenient, but they do come with some downsides. So let's get into it. So first off, what is a tandem or twin breaker? So essentially with these, you can put two breakers on one full breaker slot. Now this one, for example, is a quad. Now it is two full breaker slots, but there are four breakers within it. Or a one, two pull 40, and then two single pull 15 amp breakers. Now the benefits of a tandem breaker are that if there's not much room in a panel, you can maybe swap out some regular breakers for some tandems. And now when you're adding circuitry to your panel, you have enough room to add those circuits in. But that is also the downside to it. If you only have, for example, a 100 amp service, and you use a bunch of tandems and you're adding stuff in a reno, it's very easy to overload the service. So the first thing to worry about is overloading the service and you're gonna to wanna to do an amp test, see what things are drawing, especially you know at times like five o'clock when maybe the heat's on, the dryer's on and you're cooking, stuff like that. You can also reach out to an electrician and have them do a load calculation. Now, one thing I don't see enough people talking about with tandems is the fact that they are very, very small. They are much more compact. So if you're using something like this one, which is a two pull 40 amp tandem breaker, the issue is that they are very small and compact so that so they cannot dissipate the heat as well as a regular breaker. So I would personally have no problem using a 15 amp breaker. I would put that in with no concern. But if you're putting in like a 50 amp tandem breaker, because the load is higher, there's gonna be more heat within it. And if it does overheat, it's gonna become less reliable over time. So those are the main two things I really consider. And I try to avoid putting in 30, 50 amp tandem breakers when I can, simply because I wanna give the homeowner a good product and I don't wanna to have to come back and fix it in the future. Now, with that being said, these are rated for 50 amps, so you should think that yes, they should work. And they usually do, but usually is not good enough for me. I want it to be, I don't wanna get any callbacks, like I said. So that's just some food for thought when you guys are using tandem breakers, you know. I'm not saying you shouldn't use them. I'm not necessarily saying they are unsafe. I'm just saying, you know, they can become less reliable if they do get overheated, especially if they're sandwiched in between a bunch of other large loads that are also getting a little bit warm. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. It's Sparky Steve. If you have any electrical questions, please hit me up on Instagram or TikTok, whatever you want, and I will respond to your DMs there. Or you can also leave a comment below and I will do my best to respond as soon as possible. So thank you guys very much for watching the video and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.